Hi everyone and welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. On the show today, we're going to make a very delicious chicken, bacon, and avocado panini with a chipotle mayonnaise. We're going to be trying out our Cuisinart Griddler to make this fabulous panini. So join me as we make an absolutely delicious panini. Okay, so I have about three slices of bacon and I've cut them in half just because I want it to fit on our bun or our bread. So I'm going to go ahead and put our bacon on here. The only reason I'm cooking it on the sort of the grill side is just because I'm going to be cooking the chicken on this side and I just didn't want to have to wash it again in between. So bacon's going on the grill side, right? So we're going to go ahead, this is thick cut bacon, and we're going to go ahead and cook this up. Okay, so we have a small piece of chicken here. It's a boneless, skinless chicken breast, and I've pounded it out a little bit, and I've had to cut off a lot because there was a lot of extra um, stuff on it that I didn't want. But that's okay because it's going to fit perfectly on my panini, right? So I'm just going to go drizzle a little tiny bit of olive oil on this. And I'm going to spread that around. And then I'm going to use my favorite um, Southwest seasoning. You can use whatever kind of seasoning you like. Barbecue rub is perfect for this. Or this is just Penzi's Southwest. I'm going to flip this baby over. And we're going to give it a little bit on this side. A little bit of olive oil. Brush it around. And a little bit of our Southwest seasoning. Okay, so I cleaned off a lot of the bacon grease. I just drizzled a little bit of olive oil on there. Just kind of dripped it on there. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our piece of chicken on this side of the griddler. So we're going to go ahead and close her up and cook our chicken. And it's going to cook from both sides, so it's going to cook faster than, you know, just from one side. And we're going to just going to check it in a few minutes. Okay, so our chicken is done. It's registering what I like, 180. Some people don't like it cooked that much, but I like it cooked like that. And it looks really, really good. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. Cooked it nice and fast. So we're going to go ahead and hit our bread. This is a nice country bread. You want to make sure you have a nice hearty bread to stand up to the panini making, right? It's not going to work with your average everyday grocery store bread. You can get a nice country loaf. So the next thing we're going to do is, I'm actually just going to flip these over. It's going to be a little messy, but we're going to spread on our chipotle mayonnaise. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. And I like a lot of mayonnaise, so we're going to put a lot, right? Now this panini, I'm not going to put any cheese on because I'm allergic to cheese. But certainly a traditional panini has cheese on it, right? So I'm gonna give myself a little extra mayonnaise just because I can't have the cheese. And so let's start assembling this baby. So we got our chicken here. And this is going to, I think I'm gonna cut this chicken. I don't know why I wanna cut it. I'm gonna cut this panini in two pieces so I'm just going to put my chicken in two pieces, right? We're going to put our bacon on here. It's, <laughs> it's pretty much over the top at this point. A little more bacon. And for the showstopper, right, we're going to put on a little bit of avocado. 
You guys are probably going to be putting cheese on this, so you're going to have to put the avocado on before you cook it. I think it'll be okay because this griddler is going to cook it fairly quickly. Then we're going to put our other slice of bread over the top. Holy moly. And this baby is going on the panini grill. Okay, so we're going to put our panini up here on the griddler. Wow. And we're going to close the top. Press this bad boy down. Now, if you have cheese on yours, it's going to get really, really cheesy. The cheese is going to be everywhere. I, don't, I obviously don't have cheese on mine. But it'll be good just the same, right? So as soon as it's done, we will cut into it and take a bite. So our panini is ready. And it looks so good. Wow. It looks delicious. I've got an offset bread knife. And wow, listen to the nice little crunch it has. Wow, it looks really, really nice. It's got <laughs> chicken, looks delicious. The bacon looks delicious. I'm ready to eat this, right? So we're going to go ahead and plate it up there. And we'll put this piece like this so we can just see the yumminess. And we'll take a taste. So I am so ready to try this. It looks delicious. Mm. Wow. That is, when you talk about comfort food, mm, mm, mm. that's about as good as you can get. You can taste the chipotle mayonnaise. You can taste the bacon. You taste the chicken. And the avocado. Wow. Mmm. That is just about. Mmm. Look at that. That is just about out of this world. The avocado is fabulous. The chicken is perfectly cooked. Um, the crunchy on the bread. The chipotle mayonnaise, the chipotle aioli, it's just, you know, it doesn't get any better than that. If you like this recipe, please subscribe below and give me a comment and a like and visit my website at amylearnstocook.com. I'm also on Twitter and Pinterest at amylearnstocook.com.